Hello and welcome to the JVology show. We are on show number 47 and uh, we have a fascinating topic for you that I am incredibly excited about. I am here with my dear friend Patty. How are you brother? Hey I'm doing good thanks. Thanks for having me on the show. I'm super excited. Super super excited. It's my first time as well. Is it? That's awesome. Well, you know what? We uh, we do these quite a lot, and I'm, I'm beginning to have a whole bunch of fun with them, so I, I'm glad that you are here with me. Now, a couple of things um, in terms of getting our crew ready and knowing what is going on. Uh, top of the list is this. If you're watching this, I want you to do a couple of things. Actually, I'm doing this out of order, but live, live with it. Number one, we would love to... Uh, hear from you, know that you're there. So if you click on uh, the video here, it will take you over to the broadcast page and that way you can actually uh, chat, you can say hello, all those sorts of things. Now it's, uh, by the way, you sometimes have to just click the little button that says JFazette as well, but it depends on what computer you're on. Um, but come say hello and when you do so over in the chat, tell us who you are, tell us where you're from, all those fun, wonderful things. Uh, I'm from Calgary. Patty's from Vancouver. Thank you. They have, they have, more, they have more sun, I'm a little jealous, but it's, it's starting to look <laughs> nice here. So a couple of things about the show for those of you who do not know. So uh, JVology is a brand that I created, which is called JVology, the perfect mix of people, fun, and profit. And what we do fundamentally is we help uh, entrepreneurs position their businesses so that they get a steady stream of free leads um, at the front end of their business and a steady stream of recurring passive income at the back end of their business. And we do all of that through joint ventures and how we serve and support our communities uh, is with digital programs, something like you know, we call it the joint venture success system. We have a community where people come together and do JV invitations called the Global Lounge. We do live events like JVology Live, which is coming up in June, uh, live stream to the universe. You can participate from the comfort of your coach, one-on-one um, -on -one consulting, done for you services, and of course, things like this show, where we bring some of the most brilliant thinkers in the world of joint ventures. Um, by the way, no pressure on the rest of the interview, Patty. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> some, of most, some of the most brilliant thinkers in this world um, that we believe are going to help you with your business, uh, are going to help you cope with this pandemic, and not just cope, but really actually reset yourself so that when the pandemic is over, we are uh, taken off like a rocket ship. So those are the th that's the broad strokes. I have a little uh, intro video that I must play just in terms of the consistency of our brand. And then we're going to come back and Patty's going to tell us about how he is actually reinventing something um, that is going to make a difference for your business. That's going to make a difference in terms of how you think about promotions and advertising. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those ideas that son of a bitch, I wish I'd thought of. So we'll be, <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back. And as I see our little logo, I see that it has the, uh, the JVology Live piece in there. And by the way, um, let me just tell you one other thing about this is that this JVology Live, we usually do these in person, but obviously with our circumstances, we're doing it online. And our, our structure and system only has 200, uh, 200 spots. We have literally just started talking about it. And at last count, in terms of our internal community and the external community, I think we're already at like 65 plus or minus. So if you want to do that, you should jump in right away. Okay, Patty. Give us the 5,000 foot view of who we are, what you're up to, uh, what your brainwave is, because it's freaking brilliant. I mean, first of all, thank you so much for that high praise. I don't even know if I'm worthy of it. So Jay, I'm, <laughs> I'm, in, the, I'm, in, the, I'm in the glory of an expert. Um, so thanks again, mate, having us on the show. So my name is Paddy McGill and uh, I've worked, uh, you, may, you may or may not see me on some, uh, on, on another, platform called uh, Thinkific, where I headed up the affiliates and partnership marketing team there for about three and a half years. Uh, prior to that, I was working in the affiliate in the affiliate um, marketing world uh, in the e-commerce space. I was uh, part, I basically head up as business director for an agency. Then I was working in sales at an affiliate network. So I've got about 10 years experience in affiliate marketing as a whole. I'm very lucky to have done sort of all sides, all sides of the, uh, all sides of the square. Um, but today, um, one of the things that I've been, uh, it's a project I've been working on over the last sort of like three, four months or so, is uh, is it all came down to uh, uh, pretty much like a, a problem that I had, uh, the problem that was always coming up uh, when doing joint ventures or when working with people, and that was um, trying to find trying to find partners that are always going to be willing and able to obviously promote to their list, share stuff to their audience, um, and look, we know as uh, you know, as, as people that work in partnerships and joint ventures, we would love to promote 
people to our Everyone. list and to our yeah. audience as much as we possibly can. <laughs> but there's only going to be so, so many times that you can do that. Uh, there's only so many times you can email your, your database, only so many times you could even run maybe an advert on your site. So it really got me thinking about um, like a really old way of, of, um, of, of actually doing advertising, which is goes back a little, little while ago on Facebook. So it's doing pixel swapping. Now, pixel swapping up until about 2017 um, was completely sort of you know, sort of legal on the pla- on the platform. I say legal, but it was allowed on the platform. I, I'm going to ask you to back up just for a little bit. Yeah, and, no and, and um, without going too far down the rabbit you hole, got it. because we have we have lots of people who watch this show trying to figure out what the hell a joint venture even is. Okay. Um, so so let let's let's start right at the beginning of what yeah. a pixel is. Um, and then sure. let's leap, let, let's leap ahead there because I don't want to leave anyone in the dust here because honestly, no goodness, what I think is going to happen with your platform, what you're doing is that this is going to become as common as, frankly, boosting a post. And 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 yeah. and, and but but even ten years ago, people, what the hell is a boosted post, right? So so let, let's just back up the bus a little. Bit. Sure, you got it. Yeah. So 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 first of all, like we're talking about, obviously, like to joint ventures. So this is where you're going to be, where you would, uh, so you the. Um, the person who's looking to partner up with someone else, you would ask a partner to email your list, um, and in exchange, you would get uh, either an affiliate commission or, or, or some sort of benefit in return uh, for sharing out, you know, uh, an informational product or you know, telling someone about a, a particular opportunity uh, with you know, with your partner. Um, and then, pixeling as a whole. So, so what what is a pixel? What is a Facebook pixel? This is a piece of software, and I'm sure people have seen this. When you go on Facebook, uh, you get retargeted with adverts. Now, the technology behind that is is a is a is a small pixel. It's a piece of code that sits in the background on your website. And what it does, it basically every time you visit these websites or you visit somewhere on an, or a Facebook page or a group, it's tagging you and it's basically bringing that it's painting a picture of who you are. So you're male between the ages of 20 to 40. So, you know, the, 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 depending on, you know, who you are. <laughs> so, so we know what sites they're on. <laughs> we know what sites they are. We know, <laughs> we know what they're doing. We know what their income is. So we've got a pretty good idea of, of who they are. So as you, um, so if you've ever, if you've ever done any sort of Facebook advertising or retargeting, um, you know that also it can be really expensive to try and find people that are going to be a really good a really good fit for your product, um, and it's a, it's a lot of capital expense up front. So this um, so so what I've built is basically a uh, it's a very small piece of technology that sits on your site like a pixel, like a Facebook pixel. And what it does it allows you to share every single visitor that comes to your site back to all of your partners. And it allows you to actually sell that traffic directly to your partners um, without the need of having a fancy banner ad on your site, without even the need of you having to um, send an email to your list. I mean, obviously that's preferable, but if you, but if you let's say, if you don't have uh, enough sends in the month to your list, then you can actually open up your entire audience to your partners. So for example, um, if I want to work with Jay and Jay says to me, hey, Paddy, you know, I know you've got a really great launch coming up, you know, could you email the list for me? I'll say, look, Jay, I've already hit my list twice this month, but because I've got, I get 10,000 visitors per month, 100,000 visitors per month to my site, why don't you share pics? Why don't we swap pixels or why don't you basically join a partner pixel, which is the name of product, and then you can just retarget my audience as much as you want with your adverts. And the beauty of this is that there's no competition. Like it's selling the same, it's like selling the same piece of cake over and over again. Which is stunning and beautiful. So you know, I, a buddy of mine, Ari, has uh, has a, a mixed martial arts Facebook page, like 1.4 million followers, yeah. or some crazy amount like that, um, that he underutilizes because he's sort of pivoted a little bit. But this would be a perfect place for anyone oh, who's yeah. targeting. And by the way, his audience is you know men, like probably like 18 to 35, 18 to 40, something like that. For any product in that in that scenario, from the Dollar Shave uh, company to like, there's a whole multitude of, of places there that quite literally he could simply resell um, that audience to the right match over and over and over and over again. Now, yeah. I, my my question is in terms of how how do we do the tracking in that process? So let's imagine that uh, let's imagine that we let's just use Ari for from the understatement. Yeah. I was talking to him last night. Um, he says to the Dollar Shave Club. 
here's the here's the transaction. Now, is he just selling like as in a cost per thousand, or is he is he trying to do an affiliate twist at the back, or how does that yeah. how does that process work generally? So th there could be a couple of ways that you can do it. So right, so typically it's probably going to be done on a on a cost per thousand impressions. Okay. Um, but what you could do is if there's uh, there there could be something where you can do an agreement where you know I get X amount of uh, X an X percentage back maybe an increased percentage on other services or other promotions that I'm doing. So if I'm going to do an email, I'll say, you know what, if I can take a, a slightly more, uh, a slightly higher commission increase, I will also lower the CPM cost for you bidding on my traffic as well. And the idea is, is that you, that you, that you would deal, that you would deal with, uh, no, I sit in the middle I, and later down the line, I find buyer and seller. That's, that's the way it's going to work. But in, in mm -hmm. this case, with a martial arts school, uh, you would you would say to them, hey, look, I'm going to pay you, say, $5 for every thousand um, visits to this site. I'm selling, I'm selling like MMA gloves. So, um, right. so I know this is like a complete slam dunk. Perfect. Yeah. And it means you don't need to then go, you know, go and advertise on new sites. So you don't need to go and advertise on other places that have big banners and you compete, always compete. This is the thing. You're always competing for that space at the top or on yeah. the right. And your bid is always going to go higher and higher. But with this, it's like it's it's like a, it's it's a, it's in a way a JV deal, a joint venture deal. And it's yeah. just like it's just done with a different twist. I love that. So, so tell me, how how did you come up with this? Like, I, I think this this is epically brilliant. It is taking a consistent, um, um, it's taking an existing technology and leveraging it for access for anyone who has some wisdom, frankly. Yeah. <laughs> so, so how how did you come up with it? And, and give us it's, a little bit of the design or like the the, the inception story. It was, you know, you know what it is because I've done so many, I've done so many summits. I've done, I, I, I do a lot of summits as well. Consult for online summits and uh, and affiliate programs outside of outside of Partner Pixel. And you know, again, it's it's just that biggest problem. Like getting making sure that people want to share to their list. Um, you know, maybe if you recruit some partners last minute as well, and they're like, you know, I could maybe only do X, Y, and Z instead. Um, it really got me thinking because I've I've had read up about pixel swapping or pixel sharing which yeah. by the way like straight up everyone you can you can do this like but it means that you would just need to do stuff agreements time and time again over and over again my platform is going to enable you to basically sign up you agree to a set of terms and so does the advertiser and then you don't need to keep doing these you don't need to keep like worrying about that paperwork but, um, and just to be clear about you also yeah. aggregate people with lists so we can begin to say exactly it's like mixed martial arts personal development entrepreneurial uh, evolution blah, blah, blah. like we're going to be able to have a literally like a shopping list yeah. of people think and like their, ebay like an yes. ebay marketplace so you can say something like you know i want to find people that have got uh, they're getting about you know 50,000 visits per month and they're all talking about how to build an online course you know, I could, you know, in theory, you know, with, with traffic like that, I could go to Thinkific, my old employer, yeah. or, you know, or competitor and say, look, I've got 10 big affiliates uh, that have all got access to this traffic. Do you want to, you know, do you want to bid on it? Like that's yeah. the, it's a, it's a very compelling uh, proposition. But again, it's all come back to the biggest problem, which was um, making, how can we maximize partnerships in a way that doesn't also necessarily mean we need, mean we need to keep email, emailing our lists yeah. just because you know we all know like emails are the most powerful and uh, you know next to like word of mouth um referrals are the most powerful way to get business um but but definitely with something like this again you're you're stat you're, you're making sure you're getting in front of the right audience instead of wasting right. all that money prospecting because what 90 percent of most most ad spend just goes into prospecting and trying to find your audience so absolutely yeah Okay, so so this is uh, you've been working on this for a while. We're getting close to um, um, we're getting close to the fruition of really bringing this out. So right now, the biggest thing that we could do to support you is to have some people who are willing to play on the platform. Is that right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So I need so I need a couple of people that be willing to one willing to let someone else bid on their audience. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not charging any. I'm personally not charging any fees for it. I'm going to give you both access to the code. And you put it on your site and then and then I just basically want to like get some feedback, monitor the results. Um, I've got uh, a part I've got. Uh, so since so since I've been doing this, I've been um, I've been consulting with another business online and um, 
uh, for an online course. And one of their founders is a big tech entrepreneur and he's very, mm -hmm. very interested in me. Uh, I've got a partner with him and give me some investment. But I think before I do any of that, I want to make sure that um, that everyone is absolutely, you know, that it works and and obviously get rid of some any, any questions that people have got because uh, I've got people, again, lots of people that want to give up their traffic, but I want someone that's also willing to be the other dance partner. So awesome. come do the tango, let me, uh, let me know. <laughs> that's awesome. So what I did, just so you know, gang, is I put Patty's email address in there and it's just in the chat. And if you are willing to play yeah. with this process and willing to actually uh, engage and provide feedback um, and test this, which by the way, as he's saying, and by the way, uh, Mary, I totally agree. Mary was just thinking about how, how do I swap pixels? That's a brilliant piece. If you're willing to play in that domain, then um, simply reach out to Patty. Patty will get you set up. Yeah. We are obviously in that, in that process. Now, Michelle has a good question, so love it. What size lists are you looking for or, or amount of web traffic makes this make sense for you and for someone else in terms of the, the, the I'll call it the threshold of testing? Yeah, so I would probably say around, t so if, if you're getting around maybe 10,000 visits a month to your site is probably okay. a good, is a good, is a probably good start. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that, um, that it's it's a no if you don't, but it's but then it's always comes down to then is your uh, the other partner that's willing to that's willing to work with you. Yeah. Um, so what I would say to people is that if, so if you're willing to if you're willing to like open up your pixel, open up your audience to someone, start mm -hmm. thinking about one of your best partners that you work with right now. Um, yeah. So someone that you've done that you know, like and trust, you've done a lot of great business with, and say, look, I really want to try this concept out. And if it works for both of us, then obviously we can do something. We could do like a long-term deal. And you know, like there's nothing stopping. And this is the beauty of this. Like even if you open up your pixel, um, it doesn't stop you actually buying other people's. Like it works. It's like it works both ways. So you can yeah. be the buyer and the seller. Um, so if you've got a blog and you're getting, and you are getting, you know, doesn't, again, doesn't have, we're not expecting hundreds of thousands of people, but like if, even if it's 10,000, even 5,000, uh, enough for us to start seeing some of the numbers. Well, can, um, can, can I, so I yeah. love that for the purpose of testing, but just for the purpose of people who maybe, maybe haven't thought all, the, all this all the way through, <clears throat> um, can, can I just give a, like a tactical Go ahead. example? Okay. Go ahead. So, so, and this isn't about swapping, but this is about audience size. So um, our Facebook campaign, we spent, I don't know, three months, six months, something like that, um, spending... I, I don't pay enough attention to the dollars and cents, to be honest with you. <laughs> but I don't think it was a lot. I think it was only like maybe 500 bucks a month or something like that to accumulate an audience of people who were interested in joint ventures. And I think we average in terms of, and it was almost all video plays with no call to action. So it was just like, go watch the video. And then we would uh, select in terms of the retargeting, which is through the pixel. We'd select the people that watch more than 30% of the video. So it, it's not the, you know, Facebook plays is like it flashed up and we counted it like that. That doesn't count. So if they watch 30% or more of the video, we would then retarget them. Now that list, I'm going to, I think that list by the time the dust settled, um, landed at about 30,000, 35,000 people, something like that. Um, but we started sending ads like mm. when it was like 5,000. And those, those ads did generate opt-ins. Those ads did generate action. Those ads did generate likes in the Facebook uh, groups. Those ad, so, so, you know, gang, I, the, the big thing is it, it, if, if the list is there and it's well aligned, you don't need like 10,000 a month or those sorts of things. You need, you need yeah. a couple of thousand of the right people with the right offer, with the right overlap. And it's like, this could be an epic gold mine. Absolutely. Yeah, and like you know, if you so if if you've done an announcement, say, hey, I'm just doing a, I'm doing a brand new awesome partnership with uh, the team over at JVology. Head on over to this link. I want to go visit this link. You can send them over to um, either your own landing page, your landing page, detailing more about the offer. Obviously, you could send them to Jay as well. But there, there's a lot of like cool stuff that you can do there. But again, the benefit comes from the the tagging. Yeah. M Michelle has another great question, which is how many people can you sell your traffic to at once? This is like, honestly, this is the bit where I was like, I was talking with the CTO, uh, CTO the guy helped me develop this. Um, <clears throat> and he used the expression, it's like sending the same piece of cake over and over and over and over again. So it doesn't, it doesn't actually matter as long as you've got willing partners or the, what we're not making it is that people can just come in buy your traffic and leave like it mm -hmm. these are people that uh, the idea is is that eventually 
it, again, it's a marketplace for advertiser and buyer. Um, and then you pick, or the, or the advertiser picks, sorry, the buyer picks the the people they want to partner with, and then you, the advertiser, say yes or no. Like that's the, so it's like joining an affiliate network. That's or doing a, any other joint type of joint venture deal. So the power is in the power is in your hands. Uh, but yeah, the cool thing is you can sell this time and time again, and uh, you're not having your your brands, the people you partner with, don't need to compete for this space up here anymore or down here. They're they're getting. They're getting your Mac. They're getting everyone that comes to your site, um, obviously because it's a great fit, and uh, they, they're getting the benefits from that as well. And they're paying you like you, you're getting paid. So if you have five partners that all want to pay you five dollars C five dollars a CPM per thousand visits to your site, uh, and you do that five times, I mean that's a lot of math for me. But that you can work. <laughs> that's a lot. Of, <laughs> that's it's four. That's, there's a lot of zeros. <laughs> Ten dollars. No, it's uh, there's a lot of there's a there's a lot of money to be made. I mean, right. again, like even just I worked in the retargeting industry um, way back in in the UK. Uh, I was at one of the very first companies that done it, uh, that brought it to market, and um, you know the amount of money gets spent just on even on retargeting. Like it's this is like retargeting someone's very bottom of the funnel, like over and over and over again. Precisely. I need to worry about the top. Um, yeah, you could turn this into a custom audience that you could create. Right. To, yeah. That's one so, of the things that you could do. So one of the uh, other gentlemen, you and I, last time we had a conversation, Patty, we were talking about Ari and his television network and how to integrate yeah. those pieces. Um, Ari and I actually were just having a chat last night because he, he has uh, an interesting piece there that that uh, I really want to introduce the two of you and see if there's some, some process by which that can play out because uh, – I know that there is a route for that to fit, uh, and uh, Ari, does, Ari accepts that as well. It's like I just got to figure out how to get the TV to the pixel to the back and forth. But I'll, yeah. I'll let that. I'll, I'll leave that to two bigger brains than mine. <laughs> um, <laughs> so on this note, then, um, how many of these early beta testers are you looking for? Like, like, do you, are, are give me an idea. Like, you know that we're going to play with this, um, but yeah. I, I, Give us an idea because we're just to be clear about this. We run this, we, we record this, we share it. We generally run a little bit of additional traffic to our pixel disk <laughs> for people who might be interested. <laughs> yeah. So, to um, be clear, so he's like, he's just, he's just me right now. So, I don't want to, what I don't want to do is like take, say, look, just give me everything you've got because I don't want to, I, want, I don't want to give everyone, I want to give everyone the best service possible. Can. So, I want to find like 20, like basically 20, like I guess 20 matches. Yep. Buy a seller, buy a seller. Um, and then that's more enough for me to get a, a, a really strong, um, idea of what's, what's working well, what's not, um, any questions and concerns that people have about, you know, mm -hmm. us, usual stuff with Facebook tracking. And by the way, like this is 100% allowed on the plat, like this is a hundred percent allowed on the platform because the data is staying within Facebook. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not capturing your data. I'm not storing your data. Uh, think of this as like, um, it's like having a network router. So once you once you join into the network, then it just opens up to everything else. Uh, I, I don't do it. I don't want anything to do with the pixels or anything else like that. Awesome, and and I think that's an important component in this because the, the, in in these spaces there is an inordinate amount of let's call it data scraping or data mining or yeah. unusual stuff. But but this is truly just a aggregated platform that makes this process easy and profitable yeah. for all of us so that we don't have to go and reinvent the damn wheel trying to find our right tribe. And, and the amount of money that gets burned in that process is nothing less than daunting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can say so, you can save so much money uh, on any of the ads on any of the ads that you're doing now. And then you can the difference that you'll make to your pixel just partnering with a few other with a few partners that have your ideal audience is good. It's, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'm very excited. I've got um, I've, I've been working on I've got another partner right now that's um, they're generating a ton of Instagram traffic to the site. And mm -hmm. I guess like version two of my product is going to be something like this, where um, if you go to Instagram, and you go to you know, like link in bio. So yeah. I'm, so my idea is to integrate with those pages. So everyone, every single person that goes to those link in bio pages, they then get tagged. And then you've just monetized your entire Instagram profile without having to do a sponsored post. 
So I, I, I'm Instagram ignorant, and that sounded intriguing, but I don't have a clue what the hell you just said. <laughs> so, so I've been working. I've been consulting with a uh, with an online course called the Influencer Academy, and there's a lot of you know younger twenty something year olds there that are all using Instagram. But so when I yeah. floated this idea to them, they're like, "Whoa! Like this could really, you know, in, in theory, you could do a. I mean, this is. I would definitely say don't do this, but you could definitely do like a sponsored post without having to disclose it. Like that's the the technicality that you could do you could say like hey go onto my site and just read what i think about um this microphone mm -hmm. and you wouldn't even need to put an affiliate link you wouldn't even need to put a tracking link in it because cool. the moment that person arrives at that page they're then tagged to the brand as someone that's interested in this mic okay random random question i just ordered yeah. a podcast microphone what is that one that's the uh, atr audio technica 2100 and you're happy with it yeah it's really good I, you really know, really I, I saw that one when I was surfing and, and I ultimately went with, uh, the, we're taking a course from uh, friends and community members, Doug Sandler, and he recommended the Blue Yeti. So I, I found a- Oh, that's a, a good one. A, 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 is it? Okay. Huh? Yeah. Is it, the one, okay. is it the one that's like got the, the mic on top or is it the one that's like a ball? Uh, it's the one with the mic on top. Yeah, perfect. That's a good one. The one with the ball is like, it's at the more the entry level, but the, the one with the mic on top is is really good. Um, definitely good for podcasting. Well, we're gonna we're gonna give the podcasting thing uh, a run, and and ultimately, I mean, really, our aim is that this show would get reformatted into a podcast and delivered in that manner. Absolutely, um, and, and we'll see how the hell that works. <laughs> yeah, I've got a face for podcasting, so I've been told. So. Uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm not going to touch that with a 10 foot ball. <laughs> um, I was going to say something. So like, even if, if you are interested in, in, in like joining me on this, on this beta, this like, I guess, pre-beta alpha launch that I'm doing, um, just email me paddy at um, partnerpixel.com. I almost said my old place then paddy at partnerpixel.com and, um, just put in the subject line JVology and, uh, and then we'll, uh, and we'll go from there. But like I said, like, this is the first time I'm, I'm talking in the public about it and I'm, just super grateful, Jay, to be on here, mate, and uh, you giving me this opportunity to share with your audience. Well, you know, here's the truth of the matter. Um, and I, I just put your link in and the subject line thing again for everyone. Here's one of the things that, you know, if you're watching the show and you might be a member of our community or you might not be, um, one of the things that I am really, by the way, there's 12 billion things I'm really bad at, but I'll tell you one of the things that I'm really freaking good at, um, and it is seeing um, the the trajectory and the future of a person and of an idea. And when you and I uh, first connected at Thinkific, I was always a real big fan and I appreciated your support and the work that you did lobbying for us to do things differently than how Thinkific usually does. Um, but when, when, when you describe this, it's like, uh, folks, I will say this as clear as I can. This is one of those pieces that you don't want to say, oh, I wonder what'll happen with that. This is one of those pieces where it's like, you should play early because when it clicks, you're gonna go, it's like, son of a bitch, I heard him talk about that with Jay years ago. Why didn't I freaking do something? Um, because this is going to be, and as I, I, and I don't wanna sound silly about this, but, but just contextually, as email open rates drop, as more of the world, and by the way, if you think that this is, um, if you think that, um, you know, COVID and the pandemic and those sorts of things is going to do anything but explode your email inbox as people learn it's like oh i could get an autoresponder and send some emails like we're going to see more shit in our email inbox than we have ever seen in our entire lives and it's going to come from everyone and their freaking dog um like we're, we're going to see an explosion in that space but that's all well and fine the point being that if you're going to continue to be an entrepreneur it means that you must engage in digital marketing and if you're going to engage in digital marketing you're what you're really doing is you're you're doing i'm going to steal this from what's his face gary vaynerchuk it is like attention arbitrage and the truth of the matter is that our attention is moving away from our email inbox and our attention is moving towards the streams of content and the topics of interest that we have expressed and there is no more let's call it both direct and stealthy way to get our ideal clients thinking about us, looking at us and seeing us, then delivering it in their stream, like the, the stream that they have chosen. Yeah. So 
So you're either going to get on the bus here or you're going to go, son of a bitch, I wish I had paid attention when Jay and Patty were talking a couple of years ago. You know, it's really crazy. I was, uh, I think it was in, it was in February. I was, I was just, you know, on my phone reading the, you know, some tech news and I noticed, and actually YouTube, YouTube, the, 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 the company, so not just Google, but YouTube have enabled something along these lines, but only for their very top, like we're talking like the PewDiePie levels of, which is like, he's the guy, the biggest subscribers. Um, my, my those kids guys. talk about them, yeah. <laughs> so he, so those, so those people that are doing those brand deals, um, they get, they're going to be able to target those, like again directly. So YouTube's seen the, seen it. But I wasted. I want to help like monetize ninety nine percent of this, of of the internet, but yeah. do it in a way that's 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 good, and not just like stuffed with ads. I love that. I love that. I love that. All right, brother. Um, that is it for my questions. Um. Is there anything else you think, like, and again, from, from my perspective, this is a technology that I don't, like, like I comprehend, but I don't fully understand yeah. if that ma it makes any sense. Is there something that I should have asked you that people should know about that I didn't? Right, so yeah, so right now I have, so the, so right now, all I have right now is my landing page, um, mm -hmm. just de detailing a little bit more about what the product is. Um, and obviously the way to get in touch with me is via email, so paddy at uh, partnerpixel.com, subject line, jviology. Um, when I'm when I, when we're building this out, it's it, it's going to be for me right now. It's and because it's just me on my own. It's it's a man. It's going to be a manual process that I'm going to be documenting and going through. Mm -hmm. So just like I want people just just know like I'm doing. I'll be as quick as I can to get everything done as soon as possible. Um, but the idea is, is that once we once we build this out and I can automate, maybe get some investment. Um, like a lot of well, hopefully a lot of investment to hire a few people in to come and automate a lot of this. Yeah. Um, as well. Then, um, then the idea is that we're going to build it into a great big giant like marketplace, and it's it's going to be a wild ride, and I can't wait. I really can't wait. It's, wow. it's going to be amazing. I've really got, I've actually got like the sickest idea of where to go find clients. Actually, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it right now. So, all the affiliate networks that are out there, mm -hmm. they've all got blogs and affiliates that want to make money on the website. I'm just going to go and join all those blogs, all those yeah. affiliate networks, and just go and find all those blogs of people that have traffic to the site. I mean, it's just like, it's, it couldn't honestly be simpler. It, it, uh, exactly. Can you turn, uh, Mary's asking, can you turn this pixel audience into a custom audience so you can create a lookalike audience? And I think the answer to that is hell yeah. Yeah, so once, yeah, so once the, the traffic has come, so basically what happens is we spin up a pixel ID and then you can, you, but you can basically create a lookalike from the traffic that comes to that part of the pixel. Yeah, it's not, it's not. Probably. So a whole, a whole nother layer of leverage that's pretty fantastic. Yeah. Um, okay. So I think those are the biggies, brother. Um, I appreciate you, uh, pointing that out. And, and, and this is one of those things where, where, um, the refinements and the discernments and the connections are going to make all the difference in the world. And I look forward yeah. to participating and playing. And if there's anything that we can do to serve and support, you just let us know. Oh, thanks Jay. Thanks everyone. Thank you so much. I'm honestly, I'm so grateful just to be here and you guys give me this opportunity. Thank you so, so much. My pleasure, brother. All right, gang. So a couple of things to wrap up our show, as we always do. Uh, I want you to know that Patty, great guy, a part of our JV community that we've done work with in the past that we'll continue to work with in the future. If you want to connect with more brilliant people like this, then the truth of the matter is you should make sure that number one, you attend JVology Live. Uh, come and hang out with 200 people online where you will hear uh, from people like Patty and a variety of others about what their JV projects are. And you will have the opportunity to do a JV invitation with quite literally 200 people. Um, and you will leave with partners. We teach you the what to do in terms of joint ventures. We show you how to do it in real time so that you actually have somebody holding your hand. And the most important part that we do that no one else does like us is we give you the actual partners, the who to do it with. So June, 12th to 14th, online, comfort of your own couch, um, access 200 brilliant people like Patty, like me, like Michelle, like Mary, who will uh, help you to scale your business and reorient what's going on. And on that note, my friends, have a fantastic day. I've got to get back at uh, the regular job. <laughs> <All right. laughs> See you soon. Thanks again, Patty. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. All right, bye.